the only high school football program in the state of Michigan to reach Ford Field each of the last three seasons. The Mona Shore Sailors, two-time defending Division II state champions. And as we start high school football practice throughout the state of Michigan, we're so happy to be joined by Sailors head coach Matt Koziak. Coach, it's the shortest offseason in the history of high school football yeah. in the state of Michigan because it was just January you were at Ford Field winning your second state championship in a row. Did it feel short? It did. Uh, you know, usually the kids have a lot more time for their bodies to kind of heal up it, you know, more than you'd want. It was definitely a short turnaround considering we played actually this state championship in 2021, which is, still blows my mind, and uh, that we had a home semifinal game, which probably will never happen again in the history of football. So yes, it was the shortest, and uh, but our kids have handled Our kids are, are just unbelievable in what they've been able to handle, and, and uh, they just know like there's no control over it, and they just got to do what they can do. Coach, how impressed are you with the program? Because we were sitting here last year, and it was, we'd won the first state championship ever at Mona Shores. Now what do we do? What's the next level? Now when I look at Muskegon football, it was always Muskegon Big Reds, MCC, sure. Montague certainly. Uh -huh. Mona Shores is in that conversation for what you've done since you've been here with the alma mater. How does that feel? And how do you translate that to your kids and coaches as a program? Well, I, first, there's a lot of pride with that, being a Shores alum. And, um, you know, it, it you know, it definitely takes a village. There's no way that I can take all the credit for that. That starts with our coaches, our administration, our kids, our parents uh, to buy in. You know, football takes a lot of a lot of time, especially if you want to be good at it. So, um, you know, and how how do we translate that over? I always tell our kids, you're always standing on the shoulders of guys in front of you, and you know, the expectation is, you know, obviously to win a state championship. But if we don't. What legacy do you leave? Do you leave a legacy of, you know, you did everything in your power to do that? Or do you leave a legacy that, you know, well, I, I missed this or I missed this? And did you put yourself in the best position to, to be successful? Last year you were defending a state championship. Your team motto was rise. Your team rose. No pun intended. <laughs> this right. year your, your motto is defend. So explain to me why. Just uh, uh, defend uh, out here defend when we play at home, uh, defend uh, your legacy, defend the seniors. So that was kind of the motto we're trying to build around it because, uh, you know, w what's going to make us hungry enough to win three in a row? Uh, not being complacent, obviously doing the things that got us there. So that's kind of where we got that motto. Well, every game Mona Shores plays in is a marquee game, but week one, August 26th, at Lowell for the Pink Arrow game. That'll be our blitz battle. Coming up a little bit later, Zach Herrick visiting the Wyoming Wolves. Carlton Brewster, new head coach as we stay in the OK Green. For now, though, we'll send it back to the studio.